Hello everybody again and welcome to another episode of Stock Talk. I am your host Mike and in the background Hello. is... Is Mike in the background. You well, are who? You are Conejo, aren't you? Oh, yeah, my bad. Conejo. Hey, unless you want to be uh, Mike there. Conejo. Anyways. Uh, I, mean, I guess I could be a, being a good looking Mike. I don't know. You could be. Uh, we got a good show planned for you today. We got a damn good show planned for you today. Uh, we got the drawing going on. We got the comments in the thing. We got the little hatalito. And uh, what do we got for them today for the for the drawing there, Cameo, for people that listed the comments in the comment section? I don't know, Big John, the Viking, you got uh, Well I'm just talking to, I'm just talking about the I'm just talking about the giveaway. What are we giving away? Who cares about whose name's in the pot? I don't know what you're giving away. Some freaking go apes kind of stuff. Yeah, we got we got some army of ape support. Guess what I bought for you guys? Bam! Somebody in this drawing right now is going to get the twenty-five dollar gift card. If you left a comment in the comment section, uh, you got entered into the drawing. So I got your name in the hat, and I'm gonna shake it up. Uh, but before I do I that, have, what? Because I have the cat in the hat. Mm-hmm. So the next drawing we're gonna have. You're going to uh, going to have to. You're going to be entered multiple for every comment that you do. So should I pick it out there? One, two, three. Bada boom, bada bing. I have the winner in my hand. The rest of them are there. Who's getting the AMC card there, Camille? I don't know. Maybe the big job, the Viking, or let's Lucia's see. Kitchen. And the winner bang. is. Bang bang bang. Yo mama, yo mama has won. Mama back in the house. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually Zach K. Zach K, you are the winner. You got this coming to you from Ape Support. So, but yeah, you got the gift card. We'll be contacting you through show email. Give us your address and we will mail you out the AMC gift card. You are the winner. Zach 25, K. 25, 25, you can go take the, the girl and get her some popcorn. Uh, yeah, and right. uh, this day time. yeah, oh, well, yeah, that, that'll get that'll buy you the popcorn, and that's it. <laughs> that'll buy you a popcorn and a soda. So, there you go. Uh, unless too bad it wasn't AMC from the 1980s, then he'd be loading up like crazy. So, anyway, we're, we're gonna get into the show. Uh, do you know what we're gonna talk about today? Go oh, apes, yeah, go apes. We're just gonna talk about apes all day. Now we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna dive into a little bit. We're gonna check a little alphabet news. We're gonna go into the top three stocks, maybe two, because it's a it's a Friday, and you could even speed on the Skilo Highway, right? Sir. Okay. So let's uh, let's check the alphabet scan. What the what the scams are and uh, scam alphabets, and then we'll get to the stocks. Okay, guys. The first stock we have is M R I N M R I N Marin Software. Looks like it was dumped off today, negative a uh, dollar ten, but it was popping in the trending line. Uh, Marin Software Incorporated. Currently, uh, what Marin and, and the incorporations have to do? I'm going to be a goofball on Friday. I'm already going to tell you that, Camille. So, uh, what say you? What about me? Oh, I thought you were going to go to the movies because you got that gift card, dude. It was an inside job, not. Uh, so. Marin Software is a cloud-based digital advertising management company. It provides cross-channel, cross-device, enterprise marketing software platform for social directory digitized advertising channels. It offers software as a service. The firm's integrated platform analytics workflow optimization solutions for marketing professionals. So going into what they do, uh, they deliver customer revenue and ROI for digital advertisers not satisfied with performances. We'll credit your platform for free. That's what they advertise on their site. Uh, you want to know who their partners are, Camille? Who's their partners? They're partnered with Google, Facebook, Amazon Advertising, Microsoft, and... China? <laughs> yeah, that might not be that far of a reach, so pretty much all your big dogs are partnered with. They've, they helped man advertise managers from over $40 billion in search, social, e-commerce spend, and they're in the process of identifying three principles for growth. Uh, you can integrate. The most powerful weapon in performance marketer, uh, marketer has their own data. Marin One is full, it will take full advantage of available data, including your CRMP, 
uh, warehouse publisher data and third-party signals. Uh, also, you can optimize. They will use powerful their powerful machine to allocate budgets, calculate bids. Camille, for eight dollars and change, this possibly could go up just for the fact that it's going to help businesses. So far, what I'm reading. What say uh, you? Yeah, eight dollars, eight dollars and change. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get to be eight dollars. Like to go to the movies. Oh wait, I want the gift card to go. To the uh, if, oh, my bad. Oh. if this thing's if this thing go, moves anywhere north, you will be going to a lot of movies. You you could definitely be going to more movies. Uh, it looks like uh, one of their clients is Nissan. I don't know if you knew that. So, uh, Marin One uh, drives 25% increase in qualified visits for Nissan through smarter bidding. Now, some of you might be saying, "Well, hey, uh, I think this one was covered before." Yes, it was covered before. If it's trending, we're going to cover it again because we need to give the new listeners, since this, this channel keeps on adding new listeners every day. So we need to cover it again. You can go back to the last video where we said that it was going, uh, possibly to be going somewhere north because it keeps on doing what it's doing. Uh, so get with the program and stick with the script, script, script. Uh, so with Marine One Editions, uh, they're the answer to the challenges of facing digital marketers and bringing the social media and e-commerce advertising to a single platform. Uh, Marin has their Ghost software. It's an advanced reporting alert dashboard to help you break down the publisher silos. Uh, they have unparalleled performances for paid search advertising and cross-channel alignment for search social advertising. Uh, what do you think so far of what you heard there, Camille? Sorry, I'm just uh, mixing up a little uh, cranberry uh, and soup. It just sounds, it just sounds good, but uh, aren't, you, aren't you driving like a Nissan Toyota and filming inside your Nissan Toyota? For yeah, I was, and that's the thing. I don't know anything about stocks or anything like that because I drive a Nissan Toyota. According to according to one of the listeners, one that was like three months ago. That I guess that's an embarrassment if you drive a Nissan. So I guess if you do a stock show you're supposed to drive a, a beamer or something like that and like speed and do peel outs and burnouts you know i mean i got a maserati but what's the difference yeah exactly i don't need I mean, it, only, it only costs more money to maintain it yeah uh but so it doesn't do anything special for me it doesn't it doesn't drive on its own oh wait tesla's do but they still rev because they still <laughs> um so uh going into this one as far as far as with this stock this stock actually, like I said before, can help people uh, that are, that there are those people from the business that I do, knowing what, uh, how I've been doing and talking to other people, helping them market their business. Uh, there are some of those adults there that do not know how to, uh, to market and this platform can help them uh, market their products. So. Okay, so like we were saying there, Cameo, there are the clients that uh, that will pay the money for this and that they really, unfortunately, don't know how to market online and this product will help them. And I've been saying that since the last show and obviously it's doing something because we're up again even on a Friday. So, uh, people in tech bringing the best of both worlds. You can learn more. That's They have three different programs. There's the Manage One Manage, Manage One E-Commerce, Manage One Search Social, Aren't you on the one that managed search social for the chicks or what? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Wifey. Yeah, wifey. If you're uh, if you're listening to this, his wife. She he's not on oh, well, search. That's where, that's, where, that's where I picked her up. Don't worry about it. She doesn't. Yeah. She he, say much. He he's he's on Pookie.com or something like that. But uh, so they have the top brands that rely on them. What are the top brands? What do you think? They're big heavy hitters. Facebook.com. Uh, that is one of them. You also have Square. Uh, American Eagle Outfitters, eHarmony. Uh, I know uh, that's one. Pookie.com, eHarmony. Yeah, that's Pookie.com, and I actually know that one of your buddies who couldn't even close a deal on freaking eHarmony. <laughs> oh man, he's freaking. Yeah, rule number one on a date. I think his name is Bouncing Ben. Yeah, rule number one on a date, guys: do not tell a girl that you're so far in debt and that your debt is your car payment. And that's how far in debt you are. Just this an FYI. Car's, your, or girls, car's only, don't say. Car's only 16, yeah, and your car is only sixteen thousand, and you tell people you're so in debt. That we actually knew somebody. Like I said, he couldn't close a deal on eHarmony. So that's just that. Uh, so, so in debt. Also, they are partnered with Vista Prints and uh, Nissan. See, do you like the useless information we provide to you sometime on the show? Because some of it's entertainment and some of it is uh, information and that's what we provide. 
and sometimes we give away free shit too. So uh, satisfaction guaranteed. They're confident that you'll see tremendous results in uh, Marin One. They have a backup service with satisfaction guarantee. Is to simple terms, if you're unhappy with Marin's formats, they'll credit your. And I'm pretty sure they will. I, I haven't read the reviews, but you could take a test drive and check it out. So uh, going through it. Uh, what else do we have here? We went through resources and industry. Let's go to customers. Should we read the customer reviews or do we? Well, yeah, that's important. But these are customer reviews that they actually picked out. So I, I mean, we could go to the, we could go to the ratings if you want there, Camille. So the customers, do we don't. Please. What? You do as you please. They're not buying the product. They're buying the stock. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Well, the customers are all heavy hitters anyway, so there's no read to read the customer reviews if. Home Depot, Ancestry, and American Eagle, and Square, their customers, and Gap. Enough said, guys. I'm just going to say it. Enough said. I will continue to talk about these guys, and I will bring them up if they're going, because we talked about them before. So you can also request a demo for their, uh, for their, for their uh, product as well. Uh, should we, we're going to go off to the alphabets and check out what they are saying about this stock. Okay, guys, going on to alphabet news. We have a plug. Okay. Today, breaking on the alphabet news, we got... Bang! Breaking news today, we have uh, on Yahoo Finance, it looks like the leading provider of digital marketing software performance-driven advertiser agency today announced the, the final results for the second quarter in June 30th, 2021. That's Marin Software. So it is pop. That's the reason why they're popping, guys. As additional marketplaces expand their advertising programs, the need for a platform and efforts are only growing. Who said that uh, a month ago? Stockwitz and me. <laughs> I don't know, some guy named Mike, I think. Yeah, I think it was you too, didn't you say take a look at it? Was, I think it was Stock Talks, maybe. Is that the name of the maybe, show? Maybe the show was Stock Talk that talked about this one. So there's your plug from the alphabets there. Investor's Place, if you are in a long-term investor, steer clear of Marin Software. So there's a negative, okay? Now, this is Investor's Place. This was written by uh, Muslim Farouk. He says, Marin Software has been on a roller coaster. Marin Software was trading at $350 on June 24th and shot up of highs of $27. Well, probably because it was on a pump and dump list. That's the first thing uh, before. Uh, the stock. Well, that's that, that was the negative. Now, the only thing about this is he did say to steer clear. That was the day before. But then they uh, they they talked about their financials, so obviously uh, it is what it is on that. Uh, also, uh, you have Seeking Alpha, which I know you like Seeking Alpha. Do you ever seek alphas or no? No. Well, it looks like uh, it I says at last you you are the alpha. Seriously, that's that's what uh, that's what the old lady says about you. Um, Alison and Marin Software Tech gainer Zendesk and Sima Labs among the losers. So you could go read uh, that plug that's on Seeking Alpha going through there. Uh, PR Newswire said Marin Software announced estimated preliminary. They, they just mocked Yahoo Finance. Uh, then Bazinga had a plug a few hours ago. Uh, let's see what they said. Uh, they said that this this gives you the cloud-based digital advertising solution for search, blah, blah, blah. We already covered that. Uh, they, they're basically going on financials on the, the anticipation of second quarter earnings. So they're basically, that was their plug. So like we said before, we're not going to go too far into more any other pages of what goes on because pretty much all of these guys mock each other. The only thing, uh, yeah, yeah, they're all, they're all mocking each other. So what do you got to say about that, Camille? Uh, Ying. Bird. Bird. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. If I was you, I wouldn't drink that. Yeah. You don't tell me best. You just tell me where to sign, bud. Okay, guys. The next stock we have is A E G A E G. Currently, last tick was four and twenty-one and change, Cameo. Uh, it started off good pre-trading, and then, well, guess what you thought? Guess what you think happened? Stilo Friday, sell off and cash out and speed on the highway. You know? Take your money and run. Yeah, they took the money and run. And uh, it was pretty much that was the end of that one. But 
uh, that's not to say that uh, you know you get in and you get some cheap shares uh, with, when they take off and uh, short out. But uh, it was promoted as well this week. Uh, Aegon is a holding company which engages in provisional, uh, provision of insurance pensions, that's actually really good, and asset management services it operates through the following segments of the Americas, the Netherlands, United Kingdom, international asset holdings and holdings all over activities. The Americas segment covers business units in the United States, Brazil, including any of the units. Uh, the international segment encompasses Hong Kong, Singapore, China, yada, 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 and everywhere far in between in the world. So it's basically an international company in a nutshell. You know? You know? Okay. Yes, 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 Who are we? Who are they? They're Diversified Financial Services. This is on their website, guys. We're going to the website. We're going to do a little glance since they're going to give you a glance. Uh, they uh, offer protection and retirement solutions. Their purpose is to help people achieve a lifetime of financial security. Don't you need financial security? Because if you don't, you know, if you don't, if you don't prepare for the worst, then the worst happens. If someone, I might have a prize for somebody if they can, uh, if they're watching this and they can uh, call me on who quoted that quote. Anyways, uh, don't give it away there, Camille. Uh, the roots date back to 175 years ago. Today we operate multiple countries, including the United States, where we are known for the Transamerica. Their head office is in The Hague in the Netherlands. So, The Hague, the most important, uh, where the most important world court, The Hague. Uh, we're committed for helping the customers achieve a healthy and financial secure future. The commitment requires a sustainable long-term oriented business that takes our customers, the environment, and communities where they're active into consideration. How many customers do you think they have there, Camille? Camille? 500,000. 30.4 million. That's pretty significant there. Uh, 22,000 colleagues. Uh, two main brands, Argonne and Transamerica. Uh, their history dates back to the Dutch people secure funds to bury their loved ones back in 1844. It served 30 million people across the globe of 2020. You can go find out more if you want to. I'm going to have a nice uh, glass of this uh, ocean spray. I know they didn't pay me to drink that, but I've been drinking that on the show for how long? Month. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I guess that's when we started. It was a month ago, right? A week. Uh, oh, a week. No, a weekday. Um, weekday? Okay. Whoever can quote that. Yeah, whoever can. Price yeah, that 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 price is going to be on Cameo, but I'll give you guys a little I'll give you guys a little hint on that. Uh, how how far are you going? All the way. So 1844, Aragon's official processors started operations. 1904, the birth of Transamerica. 1983, Argon was born from the merger of AGO and uh, looks like uh, Anya there. Uh, did you know that uh, the Processor Bank Italy was one of the first banks to issue loans to help rebuild San Francisco after the 1906 earthquake. I didn't know that, Camille. Did you? Nope, I don't know because I don't care about San Francisco. Well, Transamerica supplied Walt Disney with a loan that allowed him to complete Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I bet you didn't know that one. I didn't. I don't care about Disneyland either. <laughs> How about Argon was named the creator in the merger of two Dutch processors? Ergo and Anya on October, November 30th in uh, 1983. Were you around during there? Sure was, and I was still, I wasn't even a thought on all this freaking head. What do, all, what, do, what do all these mean? Well, absolutely nothing, because this company's already been successful and you're buying into success. So that's all I could say. Uh, and no, they didn't pay me to say that. I'm just saying that um, we don't, I guess if you want to go in to look at their Disney stuff, you could. Uh, their customers, that's, that's important to know about that. Uh, their purpose of helping people achieve a lifetime financial security, we already knew that. Uh, so 4.6 million new customers in 2020, that's actually huge, Camille. If you can say you added 4.6 million customers to your, uh, to your fold there, I would say that's uh, pretty dang good and you're, you're out on the up and up, especially when you're considering retirement uh, of funds for that. Uh, let's say you, I have a friend that actually has his own deal and he has about 150 and he makes decent cake. Can you imagine what 4.6 million could do for you? Just new customers wow. added? Wow. You wow. got a lot of wow. money flowing all around this world. Now it's time to get it. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. So tell about the Benjamins. Uh, I'm gonna call my shot right right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it it's gonna be a high one. I could get trolled for this. 
but at 4.21, you're getting in on the dump, and you could get on the dump more. If they add more, this thing could possibly go further north. Uh, it's just, what's your buy point? You know what I'm saying? Where do you get in? And that's where you guys got to make your decision, uh, because this one will be back again, just like Marin was. Uh, also, Cameo, 16% of customers with two or more products percent of total customers, it looks like. They say they listen to their customers, and I believe they do, because when you're writing plans like this, I had a buddy that was actually, that does this type of work, and we were, we were on a fishing trip, and guess what? He called his customer back because doe's doe, dude. You know what I'm saying? Sure. 87% uh, of, uh, th of they are covered for their relation NPS program. They make stride in terms of creating an emotional connection with the customers under the unprecedented circumstances of 2020. Those were unprecedented circumstances. They're committed to building the momentum in order to become a trusted partner. That's from uh, the customer of VP Relations. That's cool that he put that out. Uh, action, not words of proof point. So uh, looks like they paid uh, uh, euros, uh, sorry, Europe 57 billion in claims, benefits, plans, withdrawals in 2020. So they held their end of the bargain is what they're saying. Uh, and they also introduced uh, the Coronavirus Act, uh, Aid Relief Economic Securities Act. The U.S. Transamerica launched support initiatives to help customers navigate the complex regulations. And for the second year in a row, Spain uh, recognized them as a customer service award. So they're taking care of their people, Camille, and that's a good thing. So when you're putting those stats on the line there, I mean, I'm sure if you go on, you're always going to get a sour patch here and there. But... They've got stuff to back them up, so that, that's all I'm going to say. No, I didn't get paid for it. I'm just uh, stating the obvious there, Professor. Should we see what the alphabets say on this? Okay, let's do it. Let's go check out what the alphabets say and see what they got cooking. All right, Camille, so I'm going on the alphabets, and we got a plug here from uh, Business Wire. This was on July 7th, 2021, because we got to cover all the information because we'll get called on it if we don't. Uh... They, it looks like they were to repurchase shares to neutralize the impact of 2020 final stock dividend and share-based uh, variable compensation plans. So that was a plug. You can go back and read that. Uh, Investor Observer says that they had a, is a stock to watch after losing negative 1.89% this week. That was a month ago. So that's something they wrote. Uh, there's several plugs on here, but there's nothing too negative. Uh, it's just... It is what it is with the alphabets when they go for what they're covering. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, let's see, yeah. Um, that I'm pretty much good with that. What, what say you? I'm good with everything and anything. You know, the only thing we didn't the only thing we didn't cover uh, on the last two, and we'll go through both of them, was uh, actually on Marin and Stockwitz. So we're gonna go to Stockwitz for. Uh, this company and then we're also going to go to about Marin and then we're gonna be peace out Okay, guys continuing with new information on AEG. It looks like they form a 6k report for foreign issue rules 13 a and 16 uh, You also have AEG Argon announces 133 million share buyback uh, Argon to repurchase shares to neutralize the impact of 2020 Final dividend stock. That was uh, so. All this news here is basically what we covered, and it's all stale. Yes, huh? Nothing. Uh, nothing. So we're he, he's out on this one. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna play this out and see if, uh, what happens on this one, huh, Camille? Oh yeah. Yeah. So we basically covered on this one. Uh, we're gonna go to uh, Murin, and then we are going to be peace out to the hip hop nation. Okay, guys, going to Stockwitz on Marin Software. Uh, Cameo looks like uh, Trader calls it M R I N took a dump after hour. Keep your stock. Yeah, I would actually say that's a good call. Is that uh, yeah, it did take a dump in after hours, and that's a good thing. I would say go and gobble up anything if you can get in on the cheap. So you just got to find your buy point. You know what I'm saying? He says, uh, please make sure you don't get a bag holder because if you fall in love with the stock, you're due to Stockwitz price and price target. So that's what he said. Uh, AJ Styles said August will be rough for the Bulls as a former Bull I strongly suggest you switch sides before it's too late the Biden leadership and administration will take all of your money or even worse your assets <laughs> your ass and maybe uh, that, that might not be that far of a reach there dude and 
this is just on the comment board, so I'm just reading what the, what they're saying there. Uh, you got Joey there from Friends. He posted a picture. No, I just kidding. This is from Bastion. He just said, MRN, big time squeeze incoming next week. MRN squeeze on Monday. They got too greedy. Hmm, maybe. Uh, MRN in the last 15 minutes to cover before you go bankrupt on Monday. Show me... Sh <laughs> They, they don't like this, dude. They're thinking uh, sell-off on Monday, Kamel. Um, oh, yeah. Here's Trader Trader Life King says over $30. Po How many times have we seen this and people have gotten burned? If you see someone posting that you're going to have a stock that's like 40 it's going to go up $40 on the opening bell, please disregard message and flush message on Toilet Bowl. So uh, when people are posting something like that, that it's going up $40 on the opening bell on Monday... Uh, have a couple drink, have a couple drinks, and please don't drive home. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, MRN shorts have been warned. Yeah, there. This you could see this because you could already see the manipulation on here. MRN last chance to drop bags on Monday. Don't get left holding. He says. He says we're having a fire sale. Not my words. Just looking at the freaking meme there. He says we're having a fire sale. MRN. Did anyone ask about M and A? Uh, Goog interest. It's. I'm thinking they got a buyout offer of 750 mil. They're considering it. That's nuts for all these companies. That's from uh, Ava. And then uh, looks like yeah. Sorry, folks. Earnings quarter two was bad. Earnings quarter three is going to be bad too. I anticipate a quick drop on Monday. Let's chance to sell an after hours. So people, excuse me, people are selling after hours, Camille. So this is what the real traders are saying. This is not what I'm saying. I mean, I, I talked to you guys about on uh, the website, and so did Camille, things look good, but uh, th things could play out. These guys know what they're talking about, so things could play out. There are some manipulators in here, but it is what it is. MRIN, enjoy your weekend, Bulls. On Monday, we're about to see this sky high. To all the champions who caught high teens, we're coming to get you till then. Spartans hold. So, he also said to the Bears, I hope all you furs... Have uh have the weekend costs and indeed be stacked naked come Monday. That's Sparta General. <laughs> He's an army of ape too. Go apes, right? All right. Um, MRN it looks like the day traders who took profit out on the run this morning dodge another bullet for on ER. Happy Friday, dude. This is a war, man, between these two parties. Do you know that? This is a war between the. Re this is the real thing that people don't understand. This is a war between the army of apes and uh the big dogs and the the apes ain't gonna give up right right camille i mean look just call your shot right now the apes ain't they're not gonna budge man they're holding they're holding the line they ain't gonna back up so we're gonna no. take out the money from it yeah pushes. yeah they're, they're 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 not gonna like like your old friend uh uh your girlfriend uh kamala she said they're not gonna stop they're not gonna stop that's your, that's and that's your girlfriend not mine <laughs> so anyway we're we're out in five thousand. Uh, do you got anything to say before we peace out? Smell you later. We're humming over and out. Don't make it a dog show. Leave your comments behind so you can qualify for the next gift card. And good night now. <laughs>